Well, boys, it was eight degrees yesterday, two degrees today. I had a big melt. But now we're expecting 35 centimeters, boys, over the next 18 hours. I've been too busy to even rinse her down. Look at the filth, roof and filth. Anyways, boys, we might be out three times during this next storm here. Yay, baby. Hey folks, here we are. It's another PSA for you boys. Plowman service announcement. Anyways, today I wanted to talk about a topic that's close to my heart, folks. Something pretty sensitive. Something that affects us all in the home, in the workplace, in the driveways, and the commercial lots, folks. You know what that is? That's temperature drop, folks. You can't escape it. Yesterday it was plus eight. Today, plus two. Now, we've accumulated three inches of snow, and we're expecting a heck of a weather drop, boy. A weather bomb, okay? Oh, God. Temperature's gonna drop to minus 12 over the next few hours. So even though this may seem just like three inches of snow, you could basically just consider this slush, boys. See that? Make a humdinger there in about two seconds. Fook me, that was fast. Two seconds flat, boys. So if I was to leave this overnight till it went minus 12, this would be a hard packed, crusty mess. Making my already nine hours or so to finish my commercials before we move on to residential. Well, if I had this hard crust to deal with, boys, that's gonna push your back even farther. It's hard scraping that kind of thing up. I'd likely imagine you know that for your plow boy. So anyways, we're gonna clean up a few friggin' lots here and uh, just preparate, boys, so we can save some time in the morning. She's slicker out here than the Fonzie's attitude, buddy. Believe me, we've already seen a handful of cars guttered in the rhubarb, buddy. Last place you wanna be. Okay, folks, so let's take her easy tonight and have fun on this plow run, buddy. Just cause it worked don't mean it can't be fun, okay? Let's do it. Plowboy snack right there, buddy. The triangle of Italian satisfaction. Ian's favorite food. Hey folks, Dick Fast again, AKA Speed Rooster Baby. Anyways, if you got even a half decent memory on you, you may remember me jaw jacking and yap trapping about getting tight into walls, boys. Now listen, here's a technique I call the Spooner's Choice, buddy. You're gonna get in there and just scoop it, scoop it, scoop it. Just like you do when you're shoveling that bowl of breakfast into your face, boy, and don't try to deny it. Now this technique combines an S turn with straight burn, okay? You get in there, you scoop what you can until you get tight. Then you kick that out to the side, to the left, 
I mean, this time in the right, but you know the song, boys. Anyways, then you'll S turn back, you'll do it again. S turn back, you do it again, okay? You can make a song out of it. But listen, this is going to get you in tight to the wall, things how you like them, without getting your mirror bopped on, buddy, like one of them things. What was that? Pull it, bop it, rock it, whatever that was from the 90s. You should know if you're from then, buddy. But anyways, she takes a little longer, buddy, but she gets it done. There's no question about that. Anyways, I want to use this moment to appreciate this pre-treating, pizza eating, shovel slinging, troublemaking bad boy of a cameraman named Ian White right there, folks. Without him, we wouldn't be getting half of these shots. He's doing it all, running full tilt, running backwards, a hop, skipping a jump, folks, to get these shots for you. So, just want to say thank you, boy. Anyways, Cheers. Well, boys, we've only been out for about four hours, and I'll tell you right now, I think we've seen down there every emergency vehicle in the city out, not to mention multiple cars and some multiple vehicle accidents folks but listen 4 a.m's coming quick boys so we're gonna catch ourselves a little cat nap you know what i mean nappy poo something that the lads need all right lads catch you in the morning 3 a.m now boys and we're back at it ladies i'm heading across town to the far properties and i'm gonna work my way back towards home folks ian lives close to the school there so He's just going to head over there and start to get on to the shoveling and the clearing the sidewalks. Yeah, he's going to clear them right out, buddy. Like a good fart in a room. Empty it. Well, let's see what kind of shenanigans we get into this morning, folks. Woo! Well, boys, here's an area in behind the school that I haven't really shown you much of here yet. So, uh, there's a courtyard here for the younger kids and another sidewalk around this side. And then there's a larger courtyard here with another door. Three doors across this wall. And then there's a trail here that goes all the way down to the fence. The buses unload on this here side street. This trail's typically fun. Kind of like a cottage road on bath salts, boys. Let's give her a go. Now listen folks, that eight degree day and that melt we had, yeah, turn this trail saucier than my bib buddy at an all you could eat rib buffet. And there's no question about that. So anyways, we'll just push through her slow and take our time on it. You know what I mean? But uh, there's some ice build ups and some chunks like that. Not to mention that thaw got these banks crusted up harder than a Newfoundland bologna pizza buddy cooked in hell's kitchen 
okay? But we'll get her done. God, I noticed how swampy it was. I was waiting for the swamp thing to crawl out of there and bite my neck. But I lived through it. Okay, folks? Carrying on. So this is what I was talking about, boys. When you get that warm weather, then you get that snow and it turns cold. She solidifies that layer of slush becomes a layer of Rice Krispies, boys. And without milk and sugar, nobody likes Rice Krispies. Well, folks, if you want to look like a fat, dumb, abominable snowman like me, you could come outside in 80 kilometer an hour winds and spend 10 minutes on a snowblower if you want. That'll pretty much take care of it about instantly, boys.